Folks, you're in luck because learning Salesforce in 2020 is the easiest it has ever been. Oh wait, I'm sorry, did I say easiest? I actually meant hardest. I'm sorry, honest mistake. It's actually harder to learn Salesforce these days. And that's the truth. You might be thinking, David, how can this be? We have Trailhead, the world's greatest learning platform available online for free. Look, I spent an entire evening hyping up Trailhead with Ivanka Trump and the CEO of Salesforce while drinking $2,000 bottles of wine. There's no question Trailhead is the best of the best. The problem is that Salesforce is just so big and you can easily spend months and months and months setting things that you think are important but actually hold very little weight in the market. And too often I see people setting things like Einstein and Einstein Analytics while not knowing that very few companies actually use these features. And you know, after a couple of years time, they find themselves having not broken into the industry. And you know, it's a cruel and dark world out there. Ladies and gentlemen, the good news is that me, myself and I, I'm gonna give you the exact steps to learn Salesforce as quickly as possible. I'm gonna tell you exactly what I would do if I had to start all over again today. All right, so here's the game plan. Whether you wanna be a Salesforce admin, developer or architect, you have to start with the fundamentals, which is the Salesforce admin path. And we're gonna focus on three things today, knowledge, experience, and marketability. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna optimize these three categories. You're gonna land that Salesforce job or that raise that you're looking for. Then you're gonna to go to Dreamforce, you're gonna find me, you're gonna put some hand sanitizer on, and you're gonna give me a high five. First category, knowledge. Now this is the easiest category actually, because we have the greatest ally of all time here in Trailhead. Now, if you don't know what Trailhead is, it is a free online hands-on learning platform built by Salesforce themselves to teach you literally everything you need to know about Salesforce. And I really mean everything. Finishing a module in Trailhead earns you a badge and there are literally a thousand badges and counting in Trailhead. Finishing just 50 badges already puts you in the top echelon of learners worldwide. So the million dollar question is, which of the 1000 badges should you actually earn? Because you know, you don't have a limited time and there's only so much knowledge you can store in your head when you're learning outside of the job. But you know you're in luck because I literally combed through all 1,000 badges and chose just the most important ones for you. I love you that much. So uh, I'll have a link in the description below with a full list of all the badges you should get. If you're curious, a badge made the cut if it teaches you fundamental Salesforce platform skills like data modeling or if it was related to a popular Salesforce product. Now, Salesforce very aggressively promotes and lists 20 different Salesforce products on the Trailhead platform. But in real life, most companies only use two of these products, and that's Sales and Service Cloud. So for now, ignore those shiny new badges on things like Commerce Cloud and IoT, because we're just going to focus on the fundamentals. Category two, experience. While you're building up your book knowledge using Trailhead, you need to start applying that knowledge towards real life business problems. Now, this is by far the most difficult category to optimize, but I've got a foolproof plan for you to succeed here. Check this out on my Salesforce profile. 4,000 answers on the Trailblazer community. Now, if you don't know, the Trailblazer community is hosted by Salesforce, and it's a place where anyone in the world can ask any question about Salesforce anytime. And I've got 4,000 answers there. Do you know how long it takes to get 4,000 answers? Like, how many people in the world can tell you they spent so much of their free time giving out free advice to complete strangers on the internet. You know what though? I should have paid Salesforce for the privilege to answer those 4,000 questions because I learned more about Salesforce answering those questions than I have anywhere else. And note that I have studied for and earned 18 Salesforce certifications. Remember, these community questions are real life scenarios people are experiencing in their businesses. Your attempts at solving these problems is exactly what you'd be doing on a real Salesforce job day to day. And the best part is, you're gonna see how other people solve the problems, which is gonna make you a better Salesforce professional. So I want you to consistently answer questions on this forum every single day. You know, at first you're gonna find that there's very few questions you can even attempt to answer. But over time, you'll see that you can answer more and more and more of them. And all the while, you'll be figuring out what's important in the industry, as well as what are the areas that you need to personally improve on. Who knows, maybe you'll even start to build a positive reputation for yourself among the community. By the way, Salesforce lets you create unlimited free Salesforce orgs for you to experiment in. These free Salesforce orgs are exactly the same as paid Salesforce orgs, except they only allow a maximum of two Salesforce users in them, which is one more user than you need to attempt at solving any of the questions in the Trailblazer community. Final category, marketability. 
This is the category that gives you credibility on your resume and among your peers. Now, the way to optimize this category is super straightforward. Get as many Salesforce certifications as you can. And it hurts me to say this, but there's no other metric in the industry that's as powerful as certifications. So how many certifications do you actually need to stand out? I'm going to say at least five. And I imagine that number might sound crazy to some people, but hear me out. First of all, there's about 30 different Salesforce certifications out there today. Next, know that each of these certifications are taken 100% online in your pajamas. They are all multiple choice questions with a passing grade of just about 65%. And did I mention you have unlimited retakes of these tests? No one's going to even know how many times you fail other than yourself. Honestly, the bar for certifications is a lot lower than most people think. Here's the catch though. A certification will cost you $200 to attempt it for the first time. And if you fail, it'll cost you $100 for each retake. Basically, your main motivation for not retaking it over and over and over again is to simply not lose money. Now, let's say you're willing to invest $3,000 into learning Salesforce. Now, $3,000 is a lot of money, but hear me out. $3,000 is about the cost of taking any of Salesforce's in-person training classes. Let's say you take that $3,000 instead and invest it in getting certifications. For $3,000 total, you can attempt five different Salesforce certifications five times each. Pause and do the math. Do you know how hard it is to fail the same multiple choice test five times in a row, knowing that the passing grade is only 65%? especially knowing how many free resources are out there for you to learn Salesforce. I mean, you almost have to purposely try to fail five times in a row. Now, let's say you actually do pass those five Salesforce certifications. Well, I guarantee your salary will go up well more than the initial $3,000 you invested into it. In fact, I estimate that each certification you earn will increase your salary by $3,000. And plus, if you read my Salesforce certifications guide, there's just no way you fail the same multiple choice test more than once. Okay, maybe twice. I'll have a link to it in the description below. And you know, a bunch of people brand new to Salesforce use this guide to earn five Salesforce certifications in just six weeks. And if they can do it, you can too. I really believe you can do it too. Yes, you. The last thing I wanna mention is you really gotta join your local Salesforce user group because you're gonna learn stuff, you're gonna meet people, you're gonna build your reputation, and heck, you'll probably find your next job there. I personally found my first real Salesforce job at a Salesforce user group, and it nearly tripled my pay. These places are just hotbeds for Salesforce recruiters. Chances are there's a Salesforce user group nearby you because there's about a thousand user groups worldwide. And if there isn't, there's plenty of virtual groups you can join too. Each of these user groups usually meet about monthly, and I highly, highly, highly recommend going as often as possible. I used to drive two hours to get to my local user group, and it was well worth it. I'll have a link in the description to how to find your local user group. So how long is it going to take to go through all of this and learn enough Salesforce to get your first job, or at least to start contributing meaningfully to some Salesforce org? Well, if you've got a lot of time and persistence, and you can dedicate at least two hours a day towards learning, I'm going to say around six months. If you already have a separate full-time job and you have other adult responsibilities or you just play a lot of video games, then maybe it'll take you around a year. Of course, your mileage will vary depending on how seriously you take to learning. Now, remember, the Salesforce industry is so unique because there are more resources than you will ever need to learn anything about Salesforce. And there are plenty of fools just like me giving out free, high-quality Salesforce advice over the internet just because we think it's fun. But what we can't do is we can't change your personal drive, your motivation, your heart. That's got to come from you. And if you bring that to the table, you will succeed. It's impossible not to. All right, that's it for me. If this is the content you want, give me a like, give me a sub, and I will deliver. I'll catch you next time. And to all you Salesforce streamers out there, go hit the books.